All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We got a treat today. It's Beautiful Boy, one of my favorites, not for flashy cinematography, but for cinematography that I like, that fits the story, and that has a nice mood and shape, and there's thought in every single image, and it's really well played with the lighting relative to the talent, and making it very, very simple to get some beautiful imagery, and to make the contrast feel realistic yet still heightened it's definitely something to uh, to aspire to and that is what we're looking at in today's snippet again this is just a small sample if you want to see the entire thing think about becoming a patreon member the link is in the description below each and every week i release one of these feature film breakdowns where we go in depth on all of the things that make these possible because that is the skill of cinematography at least to me it is it's recognizing uh, what i do and don't like about an image how to get what i do and don't like out of an image or remove it from an image and then you just cycle and repeat and you ingest more and more and more and you build up your rolodex of little tricks that when you're put in a certain situation whether it's i don't know are we going to be in a diner are we going to be in a restaurant are we going to be in a boardroom are we going to be in a courtroom i have tricks for all of those things up my sleeve four or five different options just done by looking at what other people are doing and when you look at great examples like today's you're going to see that that contrast, that roundness, it all makes such a big difference in the polish of the final image and the enjoyableness, uh, is that a word? Enjoyableness? Uh, of the final image. And that is uh, that that is the job. So uh, think about becoming a Patreon member if you like this kind of stuff. And let's jump into uh, a perfect example in cinematography of the office setup, the back and forth between two people in a diner. All right, I found the wide. Here we go. We got light up here, shining back on them. Look at how they're positioned inside of this diner, though. Right? He's sitting here. She's sitting here. Or, or normally, you know, she would be sitting across the table. But because they're in this diner, she's sitting over here. Watch what happens because we're using our key light over here, right? So it's going to work for both of them. Watch what happens when we do her single. So we're looking into a mirror. We're looking at the wall. But because we're positioned right here, right behind her head, we can use the same key light from up here. Like this is a genius blocking and lighting solution for this scene. Not having them sit across from each other, but next to each other in like an L position now allows us to use this key and still have all this depth in the background. You also get his reflection. I mean, that is a, that is a good looking shot. And if you were on set and you came up with that solution, you'd be like, oh my God, this is genius, right? And then we play his single over this way. Like this is <laughs> this key light there. Of course, we got to get the eye light in form. But notice how the eye light doesn't really lift the levels any. That's because we're working. We've chosen the foot candle stop that we know we're going to need to not flood this shadow side with too much light to then for therefore screw up our contrast ratio. So um, I think that's it. We don't have time to do. We didn't even get into my favorite scene, right? Which is where is my favorite scene? I'll just quickly show it to you. This this scene right here. This is. Look at how dark it is in the cafe. You come in here, there's a little bit of haze back there. Nice colors with the blue and the orange. Like this is just a good looking scene. Sit down, we play everything, the coverage, like the contrast ratio is just that little tiny bit of light, right? Bleeds over to the other side. We got this little corner here that's happening and we play everything from below. Like even if we go to him, again, really, really nice. And here again, you're doing the same thing. You're balancing to what level you want out there. You set the stop and then you set how much key you want, and then you add room tone. And if you don't need room tone, you don't add it, which is what they've done here. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when I say that balance of contrast now. Like there is definitely a look in the film, but it's heightened and it's carried across the entire film. Right? It doesn't flow in and out of contrast levels. It doesn't flow in and out of, you know, the style that we are shooting from or the setups inside of the room. It's very consistent and consistency is a really really hard. That's what you have to plan for. You have to decide, okay, we want these levels. We want this look, but now we're going to get it across whatever, 28 days of shooting. That is really, really difficult to do. And uh, this is a great example. If you like cinematography, that's a little bit heightened, still feels like it could be in the space that I work in, in this commercial world where it's not super dark. You know, it's not like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a Bradford Young sort of very down anthem body saints or something. It feels a little bit more uh, like I could get approval on the day from agency or client or whoever it might be. So uh, a great example of, yeah, good cinematography. So, okay, that's going to do it for this one. Many thanks. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.